You look after these. They're really leather, they're not plastic. Plastic, it cripple you the way you're on your feet the whole time. It's a pity I never kept mine. I gave mine to Auntie Kathleen when she went. It's not grand going in the shop and asking for nurses, well, but it made me think I was really going nursing. It's very prestigious. It'll not be easy. But you're the one who says I've got my head screwed on. It's very long hours, and the studying can be difficult. So you keep telling me. But you've said it's worth it. Mm, you see people going out well. They've come in very ill. You feel part of the whole thing. You've helped to make them better. In that way, it can be very rewarding, I suppose. It's a terrible shame you had to give it up. Well, that's all in the past. Now it's your turn. Oh. For me? Mm-hmm. Would you look there? Sure, and you're immortalizing paint. Auntie the proud mummy. You're sure you can manage that now? Don't be frightened, mummy. I'll be looking heaven this when I'm on the job. How's our mummy's going to eat all them? The sea crossing makes a body famished. And you have a long while on trains. I'll miss you, mummy. You don't have to go. Oh, well, there's a fool thing to say. I mean... Not to England. I know what you mean, and I do have to go. Sure, haven't we had this argument enough? Can't you just say goodbye and wish me luck? You'll change. They lead different lives, the English. More permissive. And you don't trust me. Is that it? I don't trust them. And they drink. And the Irish don't. A real little band of angels we are this side of the water. I never thought you'd go. Not when it really come to it. I felt that But how you'd... about how I feel? Or doesn't that count? But you could train here. You can still be a nurse. I'd have to wait another year. Maybe more. You know that, Mammy. I know. I don't want you gallivanting off to God knows where for the next I years and years. I do love you, Mammy. And I know I'll miss you. I'll miss you and the kids. But I'm catching that boat. I'm going to England and I'm going to be a nurse. I'll be home in between. And when I've got me a siren badge, I'll do my midwifery. Then I'll be home for good. Hysterical? <laughs> How's yours? I don't know. I haven't tried it on yet. Did you want to come in? Mm. Bit of a dump, isn't it? Oh, plenty big enough. I mean, you'd think they tart them up a bit. Actually, yours isn't the same as mine. Mine's a bit longer, but I don't think it's as wide. Oh, I hope you've seen the notice in the wardrobe. Well, it's only sensible. Oh, I'd hate to incur the wrath of the broomsticks so early on in the proceedings. I think I already have. Do you, um, do you smoke? I don't think so. No. Oh, ye gods, if Lucy could see me now. Your sister? No, she's a friend. She thinks I'm stark raving mad to go in for this lot. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder myself. Well, I wouldn't care, but they do ask you for your measures. And this thing fits where it touches. Mummy says they always do that. Make them bigger to allow for shrinkage. Oh, she was training for a nurse. What happened? 
Didn't she like it? She loved it. And Granny was taken badly and she had to come home. I mean, that was when she was my age. So she didn't mind you going in for it then? No, sure she encouraged it. I think she had doubts when it actually came to me going. She'll be very lonely. She relies on me a lot. What about your father? Mammy's a widow. It's just me and the kids. Uh, they did that. Go on away, cousin Farmy. Oh, that's sweet. That's the farm, the lane, and that's Sean, Kate, and Patrick peeping out from behind the tree. And that's Mammy. And that's Ignatius the cat, though. It looks mm. more like a pig. <laughs> <sighs> well, best get back to my cell. Get it all sorted out. Oh, you don't happen to know how to fold that, do you? Well, I expect they'll show us. Yeah. I'm just being a silly kid, really, dying to get into all this gear. That's when we really begin to feel like nurses. Yeah, I got a little kick out of it when Brumstock called me nurse. <laughs> Shall I call for you later? We can go to this coffee thing together. I like that fine. Right, see you then. Where are you from, dear? Sarah Regan from Cracken Common. Oh, that's much nearer home. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Ballina Slow. Please, about no jewellery. Mm -hmm. Can we wear a crucifix? So long as it's tucked securely underneath your uniform at all times. And I hope we're talking about small, plain ones. I've seen some costume jewellery crosses about that would knock a patient unconscious if one of those hit him. <laughs> <laughs> no fashion jewellery, please. Even if it is a religious emblem. Everyone seems very friendly. Hmm. I must say, I was a bit surprised there are no rules about us coming in at night. Or bar signing in, that is. I always thought nurses had to climb through scullery windows if their date stopped out till after ten o'clock. Hey, do you fancy coming out for a quick one? What? Well, one of the girls was telling me there's a pub down the road they all go to. Oh, no, thanks. I'm very tired. I was travelling since yesterday morning. Good night. Hmm. Well, tell you what. My father presented me with a rather large bottle of sherry. Come into my room and we'll have a drop. I don't think so. I think I'd best go straight to bed. Well, just for five minutes? We should drink a toast to our new careers, at least. All right, then. A very small toast. Right. I really can't get my key in. Ah, well, we got that over with. Oh. I'll get mine. Thanks. Here you are. I knew you didn't bring them. I always think family photos are rather twee to have around, but I just... It does make the place seem more homely. Yeah. Well, cheers, nurse. Cheers, nurse. Mm -hmm. Take a pew. <sighs> oh, I don't know. Don't know what? Uh, whether I'm doing the right thing. My folks don't think I am. Why ever not? God knows. I think they think I'm just messing about. I did do a secretarial course once. I had a receptionist job and it bored the pants off me. Then I went to teach training college for a year. Didn't you like that either? Yeah, it was all right. Couldn't see myself spending the rest of my life teaching kids, though. Well, there's nothing wrong with making a false start. As long as you end up with the right thing. Uh, doesn't bother you, though. I mean, some of the things we'll have to do. Well, it's not all flitting about the wards looking cool and efficient, is it? I mean, it can be messy, to say the least. That doesn't bother me. Why should it? No, I suppose you get used to it. Even people dying and all that. Have you ever seen anybody die? Oh, yes. My granny. She died at our house. Oh. Well, it's certainly a whole new ball game, as they say. You must be exhausted. Two days travelling. Yes, I got a lift to the docks and then the overnight ferry. So I am a bit tired. Mm. And then I got the train to Paddington Station. Paddington? What time did you get in? About quarter past four. It was late. You didn't. I was on that train. Go away. Yeah, it stops at Bath. That's where I live. I got on there. Fancy that. Both on the same train and we never even knew. <laughs> it's got to be a good omen. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, go on. One for the road? After all, each drink and be merry. For tomorrow we start to be nurses. <laughs>